And turning to this week in cultural appropriation, um, would you believe the inappropriate hairstyle of a plastic doll? Oh yeah. Decades ago, the toy business didn't exactly have a stellar record when it came to inclusivity. Oh sure, there were white dolls galore, but black, brown, and Asian dolls, mm, not so much. That's changed over the years. Manufacturers now make dolls that represent all sorts of ethnicities. And so it is that even the ultimate conformist doll, Barbie, is now available in different shapes, sizes, and skin tones. But when Mattel released its latest rendition of its iconic doll, many people, well, they're not happy with it. And the reason had little to do with its black skin tone and very much to do with its hairstyle. Now, as you can see, the doll is wearing half a head of black cornrows, whereas the other half features a blonde curly weave. Supposedly, this is offside. I'm not entirely sure why. Stated one commentator on social media, quote, Whose bright idea was it to style the African-American Barbie's hair like that? All of these beautiful brown women in all industries, you couldn't find one to look to for hair inspiration? You need to remove her and start from scratch immediately, end quote. Well, a few things. I have seen real black women, believe it or not, wearing their hair like this. To be frank, it's not my cup of Earl Grey, but I certainly wouldn't tell any woman, black or otherwise, to rethink her hairstyle. It's her right to choose, right? I mean, look at my hair. I get it done at that new place in Richmond Hill, you know, for three bucks you're laughing and so's everybody else. And say, whatever happened to the old adage, beauty is in the eye of the beholder? While many commentators, myself included, don't very much care for that jarring half-and-half -half look that the doll is sporting, I bet there are others who would deem it to be poetry in motion. Yet the question arises, has the self-perpetuating eternal grief industry really lowered itself to losing their stuff over the hairdo of a made-in-China piece of plastic? I mean, really? Look, if there are indeed social media snowflakes who are hell-bent on reinventing themselves as the fashion police, at least do something tangible with your time, okay? Like visiting a Walmart on the wrong side of the tracks. I mean, if the website peopleofwalmart.com is any indication, you'll be handing out hairstyle and haberdashery advice for the rest of your natural lives and perhaps actually helping society in the process. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, I hope to personally see you at the Rebel Live event. That's on Saturday, June the 2nd in Toronto. And wow, what a jam-packed slate of superstars we have for you. Katie Hopkins, John Cardello, Sheila Gunn-Reed, the big boss man himself, Ezra Levent, so many others. So go to therebellive.com and get your tickets today.